So this one, the 26th, April 26th, is when you went to Granada. 27 is when you went to Malaga. And 28 is when you went to Sevilla. <laughs> and we walked a lot. <laughs> It's it's almost like twice, you know? Yeah. From yeah. the one in Granada. <laughs> Welcome back! On the fourth and last part of our Andalusia tour, I'll take you to Cordoba. Welcome, Welcome to, to Cordoba. Cordoba! Explore Cordoba with me and let's learn its rich history. So we are now in Cordoba and we are walking towards to I don't know what place, but we are going to be touring around here in Cordoba. We're going to show you what Cordoba is. I'm really excited. I'm just gonna expect the unexpected because I don't basically know what to see here. So join me. Puente Romano de Cordoba, or the Roman Bridge, majestically spans over the Guadalquivir River, just in front of the famous Mesquita Mosque. It was also one of the shooting locations in Game of Thrones. Uh. <laughs> 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 At the north end of Puente Romano rises Puerta del Puente, or the Bridge Gate. It was completed in the days of Philip II. The present triumphal arch is the work of Hernán Ruiz III and replaces what was first a Roman gate mentioned at the time of Julius Caesar and later a Moorish gate. This is the gate of the bridge. Um, the decoration came from the 16th century, but at the beginning, the uh, the gate and the walls of the city came from the 1st century, the same period that uh, the bottom of the bridge. Córdoba is a city that has architecturally fascinating history. In parts, it is distinctly cosmopolitan, with as much hustle and bustle as Madrid. It is also one of Spain's cultural capitals. Indeed, the entire city was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1984. Throughout the city, the buildings and monuments exude the rich cultural tapestry that makes up the city's part where Christians, Muslims, and Jews all lived together. Alcazar de los Reyes Cristiano features a castle, its own delightful gardens, and a Moorish bathhouse. This is a very popular monument. The fortress served as one of the primary residences of Isabella I of Castile and Ferdinand II of Aragon. Okay, those are royal palaces that are not in use nowadays. Nowadays it's only a museum inside. The majority of the building came from the 14th century. History shows how Córdoba started off as a bustling Roman metropolis. Founded in 152 BC, it was named as the capital of Hispania Beatica. Today, there are reminders of the elegance of the Roman era. It's also popular for salmorejo, a puree consisting of tomatoes, bread, oil, and garlic served cold. I think they just walk like it's 200 meters to the street. And it's easier to walk. Yeah, it's like faster, actually. It's more, much yeah. faster. And you'll enjoy yeah. the, the city more if you walk. Maimonides was born in Córdoba and played a great role in the city. He was a philosopher, astronomer, and physician. You will find his statue along Hurios Street. So we are in a very narrow street right here in Córdoba. We're trapped. No. <laughs> At the end of Hurria Street, El Zocco will greet you. This is a beautiful market with many amazing artisan stores where you can buy jewelries, sculptures, art pieces, and others. You can see the decoration. This is the filigrana. Filigrana Cordobesa is the name of this technique and obviously all here.
I love the geraniums or wallflowers in the white patio. It gives a refreshing feel to the place. It's invigorating and it's very Instagrammable. This market is located in the Jewish Quarter. Cordoba City has lots of narrow streets just like this. You really have to squeeze yourself in there to get to your next amazing destination. Hospital del Cardenal Salazar was a general hospital founded in 1703 and was designed by Juan Antonio Camacho de Saavedra. Calleja de los Flores is one of the most popular tourist streets of Cordoba City. This small but well-known street is the most photographed street in Cordoba, where Mesquira is usually seen in the middle of it. It's a typical narrow, cobbled alley between whitewashed houses. Its balconies and walls are decked out with flowers in terracotta pots with vivid colors such as pink, purple, and red geraniums. As you continue walking in the narrow street filled with colorful potted flowers in Córdoba, don't forget to visit their many souvenir shops and grab some postcards or my personal fave, snow globes. After shopping, get yourself a slice of the largest tortilla found in Spain, popularized by Bar Santos. The Mesquita of Córdoba is one of the world's most impressive buildings, making it one of the most remarkable tourist attractions both in Córdoba and Spain. Each year, approximately 1.5 million tourists marvel at this impressive landmark featuring several architectural styles and uniting religious elements of Islam and Occidental culture. The so-called Holy Cathedral is not only the largest mosque in the entire world, but the largest temple in the world as well. The building has mammoth dimensions. It stretches across 24,000 square meters and features as many as 856 aesthetic columns made of marble, granite, jasper and other fine materials you know the long time ago they suffer and they are in not good conditions to decorate the inside they put here and inside you're going to see the copies and records okay after quite an exhausting stroll we decided to have a hefty lunch at taberna agora their place is truly astonishing the courtyard is beautifully designed with flower pots, same as the ones in Calleja de los Flores. They offer a vast selection of food and drinks. We ordered tortillas de camarones, choco frito, sangria, mini tortilla de patatas, and flamenquín cordobes de lomo y jamón. Pero la Hello. As I eat my delicious lunch, I would like to say thank you for joining me in this four-part series. I wish that you enjoyed our Andalusia tour from Granada, Malaga, Sevilla, and now Cordoba because I truly had fun exploring these wonderful cities with you. See you on my next destinations. Bye!